second meeting of, of October. We have Pastor Raymond Alexander of Mount Calvary. Be quick, give us a prayer for God's family. Father, Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray. Father, it's once again on this day that you stop by to wake all of us up and close us in our right mind. This is a day that your word say we should rejoice and be glad in it. But this is a day that we have never seen before and a day we will never see again. But we invite your divine presence in this meeting on this day. Father, you have placed these Board of Supervisors here to do a job that's very important for the county of Harris. Continue, Father, to keep them. Continue to bless them. Continue to give them the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that they need to do what's best for the people that you've placed them over of Harrison County. Continue, Father, to give them a heart of compassion, an ear to hear, and father, a unity that is so strong that this county would be the best county in the whole entire state of Mississippi. Amen. Father, bless those who hear the sound of my voice, every individual household. But father, I would not be who I am if I did not ask you on this day for those that we have labeled our first responders, our fire department, our police department, our sheriff's department, our medical team, Put a head of protection around them, Father, as they're going out to do exactly what they are here to do for our armed forces to protect and serve, for our medical to heal and mend. But most of all, dear Lord, let everything be done as the word of God say, decent and in order, that when it's all said and done, you will receive praise, you will receive glory, and most of all, you will give honor. Let me thank you for what you've already done in the past. Thank you for what you're about to do today. Thank you for what you've already prepared for what's on the way for the people of Harrison County. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Supervisor Martin, she can leave us in the Everything going well, as to be expected. <laughs> and we see that we had a nice turnout with cruising on the coast, uh, what, 9,600 plus, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully they spent all their money and they didn't create no problems when they go going back home. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I did run into a fellow that said he, he was going to be home early because he had spent all his money. Yes, sir. They were going to He was in Louisiana. We love it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, next up, first on the agenda, we'll recognize Mr. Gary Frederick of the NWCP presentation of the award. Good morning, Board of Supervisors, Administrative Staff members this morning. I'm Gary Fredericks. I'm president of the Gulfport Branch NAACP, and it is indeed an honor for me to stand before you today. And I ask all members of the NAACP in our community, uh, members, to please stand. At this time, we want to recognize uh, Supervisor, uh, uh, Board President Mr. Kent Jones. Everybody knows that the pandemic, COVID, has been very challenging for throughout the coast. Longstanding, what I can say and, and give testimony to is Supervisor Kent Jones has been there every step of the way. When it relates to uh, engagement, certainly along with my uh, friend here, uh, Councilman Casey, regarding COVID, building facilities in uh, District 4, 
long-standing engagement. He's passionate. He's engaged. He's committed. He's a law friend. We are honored to recognize him for his civic engagement and outstanding leadership and show our love and appreciation for Supervisor Kent Jones. At this time, would you come forward, please? It is indeed an honor for us to present to you just a small token of our appreciation for your continued support of all the citizens of District 4. May God continue to bless you in the court. Thank you. Thank you. You recognize to say something, sir? Yeah, I just want to thank you. Thank you for this award. I know this is the offending. Uh, organization that they doesn't give out awards lightly, and I'm very appreciative, and I really accept it very honorably and very humbly. And uh, everything that I do within the community is really all about and for the community. And this is just to begin some things that we've done so far, and uh, looking forward to going forward, uh, continue going forward. All right. I do want to recognize a couple of my mentors. Mr. Prince Jones and, and Coach Bobby Jones, these guys <laughs> have represented the government board in the Harrison County School District for probably 45, 50 years. They've touched thousands and thousands and thousands of students over the years. And just the fact that they're here to me to see this award is an honor, as well as everyone else that, that uh, the one that came out. I thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate this, and, and I God bless you all. Supervisor Jones, can we get all the, sure. all the members up here with you? appreciate this being the first female EMT here in Mississippi. Dana's our first female operations manager. We've been here over 40 oh years. Oh yeah. the first one. So I just want to point that out. We're very it's women. We're very proud of that. Go ahead, Dana. Introduce yourself. And I bet you don't have to share the bedroom and the bathroom with those They don't guys. give me a bedroom or a bathroom. <laughs> um, <laughs> me either. You don't have to share it. <laughs> Good morning, Supervisor and Administrative Staff. Over the last couple of weeks, I've served as Interim Chief. Um, during that time, I've been able to meet several Board of Supervisor members as well as administrative officials. Um, 
trying to build those relationships. I look forward to getting out there, meeting everyone else, and continuing those relationships and building it to continue to provide the, hopefully the same service that we've had over the last 40 years to Harrison County. And I look forward to building partnerships and moving things in the right direction. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And if I may, um, I told her this not knowing she was the big league chief, but now that I do know that, I had the opportunity to ride with your folks a few weeks ago, and thank her not again nicely. <laughs> I really appreciate the uh, quietness and uh, putting up with me. So, that was very nice. <laughs> You had first hand, you had first hand yeah. experience. Well, I was telling her about it, I didn't know she was a chief, but they <laughs> <laughs> were very nice and I'm not just blowing smoke. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject of AMR, I don't know if Julie even knows anything. I, I received an email from AMR last week, or week before, since cruising was last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about what I even think. They have a service that is they wanted me to write a cease and desist letter to that is transporting people to on stretchers somewhere. I'm not quite clear how this works. Uh, I don't have authority to write a cease and desist letter because they're, they're claiming AMR say they're involved. Do you know anything about this, Julia? So they're asking that we write a cease and desist letter to somebody who's violating the ordinance is all I've gathered from it. Uh, before we get off of AMR, <laughs> the board wants me to do that. Wait, uh, let, I'll let her explain it if you do. Okay. <clears throat> um, Dana and I and the, uh, our regional director, Dwayne Tallis, we met with uh, President Kent Jones uh, last week about this. Um, we were notified that there is a, a company in the area that's transporting patients on stretchers in the back of, of a van. And <laughs> I mean, um, this is a real hand. And that's a, a violation of the of the ordinance. And um, we did notify the Bureau of EMS, and they have been, you know, involved in the process of talking to the company and all um, about not having the proper licensure or you know the proper equipment and that type of thing. And so uh, when we met with uh, with Kent, with the president, he said, you know, that we needed to also get with Tim uh, on this. And so. We followed up with Tim and took the ordinance, and then I outlined in the ordinance the areas that we felt like that they were uh, in violation of. In the ordinance, the definition of ambulance is anyone that's transported in a reclining position inside a vehicle. And so we are the only ones that have, you know, the ambulance authority here in the county. So, look, have they stopped? I didn't write, I hadn't written this, I don't have authority of the board to write a cease and desist letter, that's why I was bringing it up now. Uh, probably a month ago, I got a call from some gentleman arguing that, that, that they provide this service where they pick up people at the hospital and some of these people have to be on stretches when they're going home. They actually said AMR couldn't handle it. And blah, 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 blah. I said, look, I, said, I can't give you advice. You know, hire your own lawyer and let them advise you about the ordinance. And that, then she sent me the email. I assume it's the same people. I have no idea. Because, I mean, you get a lot of phone calls about people asking questions and legal advice that I can't give them. They have to get their so own. It's not like an Uber with a suburban. What, what, what he explained, yeah, and I don't even remember who this gentleman was, because you get so many phone calls, it's hard to keep up with him. What he explained was that this was. If somebody had to be transported home from the hospital, they are as long as that person can sit up, they can do it. But if they have to like, be on, lay down on a stretcher, they can't do it. They have to call the ambulance. And what he was saying to me, and I don't know the truth of any of this, is that AMR does not have that ability to provide that much service or that level of service to these folks that are just being transported back and forth. And I, I basically told him, I said, sir, the ordinance is there. Need to have your <coughs> and I advise you what's within the ordinance and without the ordinance. I represent the county, and that was the end of the conversation until I got this email from right week before that. Yeah. Yeah. Cruising the Chris, 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 uh, about this. Per, I assume it's the same people. I don't know if this description is the same. Uh, so, if the board wants me to write a cease and desist letter, now. AMR can write their own cease and desist letter if they choose, but 
we can, the county can do it also. So we don't have any direct information that they're violating the ordinance. What we have is a phone call I had with a fellow and with AMR. So I don't mind writing them the letter, but I need board authority to do it, what I was bringing it up now for. And when Julia stood up, it reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I don't, I, I'll make a motion. I, I think we need to be sure they're in violation of the ordinance. Tim, you're not sure of that. We need to have an investigation. Well, if they're in violation of the ordinance, and it's such, then we write a cease and desist letter. Oh. But, I can write a letter and say, you, we're not sure. What are you doing? If you're doing this, this will Just be a violation. You might can investigate it. Well, the Bureau of EMS has been down here and has has talked to the company, and they did write them a cease and desist letter. Okay. Well, but, I, uh, I didn't they, know that. So. that yeah. The, the Bureau of EMS did write one, but it, um, the Bureau of EMS instructed, when I talked to the director hall up there, he instructed we would need to get a letter sent from the county about the ordinance. Well, if we got a copy of their letter, a cease and desist, then I think we can do it. And then we attach a copy of our ordinance to their letter. Okay. That's the way I think you do well, it. Okay. I'll make it in sort of a way to say if you're doing this, you're in violation. Of Correct. Sense, I won't be ugly. Nice southern term. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. I'll get the letter. I'll ask uh, Director Hall to send me the letter. I'm <laughs> sorry to bring you up to Friday. No, that's fine. You reminded me. <laughs> you want to say? I'd like to thank Julia as well for doing such a great job with AMR and also always being there through sick, <laughs> thick and thin and sickness and health. So thank you on the road to recovery. <coughs> thank you for all you do for thank the community. Are these things up a tiny bit too loud? I don't know where. I'm asking Robbie now. I got my it's got it. It's humming. Okay, next up is our consent agenda items number three through nine have been placed on the consent agenda saying the pain for the routine and non controversy matters in which our supervisor would like to agree. Mr. President, would, would we board remove number five for discussion? That's the consent agenda that. I need a clarification okay. on one of the items. Okay. Well, motion with the exception of number five. Second. All in favor of that motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Item five is uh, order approving claims docket for Mississippi Code 1972, section 191327. Motion. Uh, second. Uh, second, second discussion. discussion. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, I believe it's on page 35 in reference to Starlight. I was perusing through the claims docket and I noted that one of the items on the store light was at four hundred and some dollars while all the rest of them generally were eighty nine dollars, ninety dollars, maybe a hundred and twenty five, hundred and thirty dollars. Explain to me why that one is so much more starlight. Page thirty five, I believe. Spark Sparklight. Spark light. Spark light. I'm sorry. Sparklight. It, it says it. It says that it's a monthly service for the Harrison County Ball Field on 34th Avenue. Why would it be so much two more months. than the others? Two months. Two months. Yeah, September. Ball field. But that's still thirty. Yeah, it's still times more. That's still a lot, and it's at a ball field. Why Spark would we have it? Who's at the ball field regularly? To, I, mean, yeah. I, don't, um, I just noticed that when it jumped out. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what that one is. Can we check on that? Wait, yeah. Can we remove we that when we check on it? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that the, the vendor needs it. I mean, he's probably, that's a legitimate bill. Just keep it quiet so high. You need Robert? Uh, Mr. President? Go ahead. I think Robbie has it. Did it have okay. Wi-Fi? Did it have the internet? We, 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 we do already have the Wi-Fi out there for the for the video for the footage. Uh, the cameras. We do need that. We just got a claim. Thank God. For the camera? Yes, sir. Why is that? Why does that to be that much? Would it? It should be forty dollars a month, eighty for two months. Yeah, not four hundred. Not four hundred. Four hundred and thirty-something, thirty-seven dollars. I believe. That would be. It has to be cable. Could you check that and see why? Yes, but just hold that. 
Just hold it until we get a clarification. And Robbie, we're having a little feedback up here with the microphone. Yeah, yeah, it's I can, just I can set too it's just set too high. It's going to bump down the game. The volume's a little too high. Well, it's just <laughs> one right there. It's <laughs> this one. It <laughs> managed it. If, if we could, uh, I could. Uh, uh, the motion will reflect that we'll withdraw from the thing. Which item? It's number five. Number five. Number five. Yeah. Until clarification. But just page 35, just, right? Not the whole number five. No, number five. No, just, uh, just, just items. That, no, just items. that particular items. item. Yeah. yeah, you're proving the claim socket. Okay. Matter of fact, take your eye. Yeah, if I may, I wanted to call on our our chief Pat Sullivan to brag about his guys that saved a man's house this weekend. You want to? Frank, yeah, um, thank you. We uh, we actually received um, we actually received two emails. One was from the uh, from the fire that uh, was endangering a house in the in on the grass, and it was endangering a house. And um, they were quickly on it and saved the house, basically. And then the other one was we tragically had a, a motorcyclist that was killed in an accident. On Shaw Road, and anytime we have that, it, it's tough on everybody. But the family specifically sent a note saying, "Thank you for the uh, firefighters, uh, what they did, and the comfort that they gave the family during that time." And and EMS, meaning AMR, also, um, they were very complimentary. So um, one of the only th the thing I can say is that we're hiring really good people, and the reason we can hire really good people is because the board has stepped up. And supported the fire service, so we appreciate what y'all are doing. It makes a difference what you do, and and it trickles down to the uh, to the public. Um, so that's why we're we are, where we are. We're getting the uh, the kudos because we're putting a lot of effort in that and, I, and protecting and helping our our citizens out. I've there. always said we, you don't ever think about the fire police departments until you need them. <laughs> then you realize how important they are. Yes, sir. And and you know all the work that we do in between the calls to make sure that when we have the calls that we're ready is important. And you know, the, I don't think the public sees what the county does as a whole. They, it's <laughs> like, you know, out of sight, out of mind until you need it, like you said, but the road department, um, you know, engineering, making sure we work closely with all the departments, um, getting everything done. Something like Robbie uh, helping us to get all of the, um, the, the technical stuff that we need to do. So it's a team effort. and. And I think we're working towards being a good, solid team. So thank you all also. Thank you, Pat. Okay, only the consent agenda, we did approve the agenda with deception on the line 35, and we're going to get that looked into. That's where it is. Yeah. All right. Uh, I have an addendum that I want to add before we proceed. This is order. Excuse me, I don't think we voted. We did vote. Yeah, yeah. It, we voted. We did? It, okay. It, 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 <laughs> Okay. All authorizing payments to pay to a Nissan in the amount of $47,318 for the purchase of two Nissan Centures and authorizing payments to pay to a Nissan in the amount of $23,659 for the purchase of a third vehicle for tax assessor's office. This is due to pay to a Nissan requiring a payment at the time of delivery pickup of each vehicle. Check to be made after the order approval. Motion. Second discussion. Oh, was this in the budget? Yes. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Board acknowledge the receipt of and approving petition for decreases to the 2023 real property rule as recommended by the tax assessor. Motion. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Board approving travel, hotel, and registration. People, Paula Ladner and Alicia Schultz, to attend the MACA Fall Conference Workshop November 14, 17, 2022, in Cleveland, Mississippi. Motion. Motion. Second. Discussion. <coughs> All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries 12 water proof and transfer in the amount of $1,950 from state rebate funds that were deposited into the Fire Service Fund 106 to 10625. 0606 
for the purchase of 12 static first responders fire suppression units from Coastal Fire Protection LLC. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. Yeah, can, I, can I mention that? Sure. That, that's another thing that's kind of interesting. What this is, is actually a fire grenade, which is something that you're, nobody else is using, but what it is is that you can pop the, uh, the uh, pin on it, throw it into the house, it explodes and sends suppression uh, uh, agent inside the room. And the studies that we're seeing is it's something new, it's something uh, out there that nobody else is really using, but that's having some success with it. So we're going to try to try that and see if that is something else we can put in our toolbox that's going to make a difference. Primarily, it's going to be for those units that don't, it's not a fire truck. All of our command units and, uh, and rescue units that don't have fire hose on it, so they get there first, they'll still be able to do something until that fire truck gets there. Eventually, I'd like to see the Sheriff's Department have that also because those patrolmen are out there constantly arriving either before we do or at the same time and helping us. Um, but that would be something that they could have, throw it in there and let's see if it makes a difference. So thank you for your vote on this. Thank you for the encouraging discussion. All in favor, the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. 13 order approving travel to Robert Turner, IT director, to attend and be a guest speaker at the 2020 Government Tech Conference to be held on November 6th and 8th in San Diego, California. Motion. Second. Discussion. Congratulations. <laughs> Any further discussion? All in favor, the motion say aye. aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Order approving this petty cash amount for Lyman Senior Center. In the amount of one hundred dollars. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. First carry. <coughs> Zoning. We might get to hear okay. items fifteen through sixteen. Um we have regular <coughs> cases with the planning commission. And I'd like you to concur with the planning commission's decision. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion? Further discussion. Should I say all the the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carried all approved and pay with the plan list to be paid from the toilet account. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carried all the concurrent with the county administrator on the four minutes listed and the file with the payroll clerk. Motion. Second. Discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. All opposed? Motion carries order spread upon the minutes of personnel change of the sheriff's office listed on file with the payroll clerk. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carries order concurring with the role manager and employment listed on file with the payroll clerk and the personal human resource department. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. <coughs> All opposed? Motion carries 21 order. Designating any board supervisor, county administrator, Mr. purchase clerk. Mr. President, you skipped, um, did you not skip 17? Did you do that? Did we? Did we? Yes. Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, can I introduce the, we have our new HR director in the audience today, her first day here. Uh, Judy Lee. Stand up. Can you stand up? <laughs> we get two Judy's now. Judy, <laughs> <laughs> Judy. <laughs> and they're sitting next to each other. <laughs> we ride together. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, welcome aboard. Thank you. Okay, we're at 21. Okay. Did we vote on 21? No. no. Okay. okay. Did I read it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Supervisor, county administrator, purchase clerk, chancery clerk, or any department head is needed. As board representatives to receive bids for the state aid project BCD 0024 27B Veterans Boulevard on Wednesday, November 2nd. Motion. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. <coughs> motion carries. Order spread upon the minutes the list of local state contract and emergency orders issued by the purchasing department for the month of September 2022. Motion. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Recognize the chair uh, on his representative as reports on the number of persons currently housed in the Hampton County Jefferson. Motion. Second. Discussion. Motion. 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 Motion.
Right now we have 761 inmates. Um, we have 76 ready to get uh, MDFC inmates. About 133 females. That's it. Auto authorizing advertising for Marine Patrol boat for the Sheriff's Office. Motion. Oh, second, is that for sale? You're selling it? Or are you buying one? Are you I, think I, I think we're buying it. They're buying it. it. They're buying it. Oh, okay. I thought they had. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor, the motion say aye. aye. All opposed. Motion carries over to authorize and dispose of inactive records listed, which are eligible for disposal in a coordinate. With retention schedules previously approved by the local government and records committee and adopted by the Board of Supervisors. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carried. Order authorize the board president to execute quarterly reporting for Senate Bill 3065, Sheriff's Funding for Harrison County Law Enforcement Training Academy for the party in September 30, 2022. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Order authorizing the purchase of a rapid cable crossover for the, for the gym at the Harris County Dirt Detention Center for road strength training system in the amount of 2647.95, built from 001 200 921 and authorizing the county administrator to transfer the bonds. Motion. Motion. I have no idea. Second. Discussion. Uh, what funds are that being transferred? That's the uh, instead of kids, they're adding in budget. And it's a capital. They have that money. You just transfer it from a capital to from a consumable supply. It's for a decade, right? Not for a person. <laughs> <laughs> that's transferred from y'all's account to the county account. Yeah. 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 Yes. Buck up. Yes, for the gym. Okay. Is there any further discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed. <clears throat> motion carries. Order authorizing the replenishment of petty cash account in the name of Robert Drace with narcotics in the amount of $4,730 in payable from 029-215-613 to bring the account balance to the approved amount of $6,000. Nice. Second. 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 Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Order authorizing the Chancery Clerk to issue a check in the amount of $10,000 to Robert Drace, the Cardiff Division, for the Gulfport Office of Homeland Security Investigations. They were from line 030 281 613. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. It goes directly to him, that's check directly. He's not real. Narcotics. Yes. In further discussion, all in favor of the motion say aye. All opposed. Motion carries. <coughs> Models reimbursed in county travel for the following employees. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Uh, all opposed. There is order approving the annual inventory report. This began in September 30th, 2022, and submitted to the state audits and office and on file with the county administrator. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. <coughs> motion carries. Order approving the removal of crime policy for the Harrison County Family Court at a cost of $500 and authorizing the board president to execute the same. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. <coughs> motion carries. Order authorized to reimburse to the road fund. 150 360 or the following. Second. Second. Discussion. Discussion. Um, never mind. Okay. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries order approving the final amendment budget fiscal year 2022. Budget amendment detail on file with control. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries order authorizing the transfer from the general fund 001 900 950 to the GRE repair fund 311 000 387 
in the amount of four hundred ninety-five thousand for the annual reduction in the in-fund advance. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. <laughs> motion carries all authorizing the following in loan phone loan and repayments for this tax schedule. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Order approving payment of the following claims. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. 38 of the residents of the Board of Supervisors of Harrison County, Mississippi, authorized the issuance of a general obligation bond of the county in a total aggregate principal amount of not to exceed $15 million as described in the resolution. To raise money for the purpose of providing capital projects as described in, in this resolution, directing the preparation, execution, delivery thereof, authorizing the sale of said bond to Mississippi Development Bank and the sale of the placement of, of the not to exceed $15 million Mississippi Development Bank Special Obligation Bond, Series 2022. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Order adjudicating the tax of August 29, 2022, when the tax on tax parcel number 09098 for 2021 taxes is erroneous and thus void in ab initio and for related purposes. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Order adjudicating tax of August 29, 2022, on the tax parcel number 1010D0100001 for the 2021 taxes, erroneous and thus for the ab initio and for related purposes. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries order approving the waiver of rental fees for the use of the West Harrison Civic Center by Pascagoutian High School Alumni Association on April 28, 29, 2023. Motion. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Order approving the use of labor, equipment, and materials needed to strike and mark the walking track at the Recreation Senior Center within the City of Long Beach, pursuant to the terms of the local government cooperation agreement between the City and Harrison County. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Do you have lights on? Is there lights on that walking track? Uh, it's not. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, it's got some, but it's not like lights lighting up the whole track. I'm just curious. Discussion. Mr. Wagner, this request is from the Alumni Association, not from the school board, and therefore the envelope agreement wouldn't apply. Oh, for the previous uh, one? Hey, you got a good point, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while. <laughs> Everyone, yeah, I came in a little bit late. Jim, my lawyer, my lawyer's going to ask a question for you. <laughs> That's my lawyer back there. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't use interlocal yeah. for the waiver rent. You mean the two No, no, I'm talking about item 42. I apologize. I'm a little bit behind. Uh, item 42. I was just reading the back up to make sure there was a. That is from the. That is from the city, Jim. The city of Long Beach. That's from the city of Long Beach, 42. Wait a minute. And we got a, we got a request. Said, no, it's 41. He was I'm talking sorry. about, I, right? Well, 41. Hold on a second. I was just looking at the backup from the wrong one. I'm it's just a waiting. I'm still at the cruising. I'm still at the cruising. I tell you what, it's good you thing my lawyer was here. You'd have to be over. Let me look at it and make sure. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. 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 Yeah, that's what I'll tell you why, because on my backup, on got 41, the it's the backup for 42. That's why. No one. <laughs> <laughs> I kept opening, I'm going. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, the waiver is not, uh, it's not our ammo. Wait a minute, hold on a second. <laughs> Man, I'll leave the room five minutes. <laughs> 
two. And that's a letter from Alumni Association. That's forty. That's the waiver. But no, Alumni it's like that on mine. The waiver. Number yeah. forty-two to back up is from the Past Christian Alumni Association instead of the city. Yeah, I'm not totally crazy. That doesn't make sense. They just got them revert. They must we have them. We have a... On 41, it's on there, too. Where's that? The that's, that's, I'm not totally crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Not totally. But nowhere so, do I see a letter from the city. Much as I hate to Do you know we have an order, Trisha? <laughs> we do. It's okay, she, yeah. Trisha says we do have an order. We got the order for the strike. We got that order. Okay, thank you. It's just a mistake. I knew I wasn't totally crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing. I kept yeah. clicking back yeah. and forth and it kept saying the same thing. I'm going to click on the wrong one. You told Brittany to do that. I was testing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least I'm reading. Did he bail? Vote on 42, <coughs> please. Vote on 42, please. Okay. Is there any further discussion on item 42? All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Item 43, order approving mutual aid agreement between the Naval Construction Battalion Center of Gulfport and Harrison County for the provision of firefighting assistance. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Order approving the request of the Mississippi Department of Marine Resources to accept ownership and responsibility for maintenance and upkeep of the Biloxi Beach and the Carpet Creek High Falls. Motion. Motion. Second. Discussion. We are not taking it over the title, please. I was going to yeah. ask, but we got the upkeep and the maintenance for the title, boss. Yeah, what you going to do? You don't have them anyway. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> you'll read the order. We do not agree or accept that there's even a title until it's required in the circumstances. The order that states what the authority of the county is over the same thing. Is that an outfall that was put in years wave. ago that has the cover? I mean, it's, it's, the, the, wave it's the two waves and the big one yeah. at, at that Centennial Plaza. Marine, the, that is taking a, a maintenance of that? The we are. We are. Well, that's what I, to us. Oh, okay. For the maintenance, they're finished. Other than cleaning them out, that's, it shouldn't I be a lot of them. I don't that's going to be an issue. The design. Well, the wording is confusing. In approving the request of the Mississippi Department of Marine Resources, it should be from, to accept yeah. ownership and responsibility. Who? That Who to accept county. ownership it's and responsibility? It's for maintenance and upkeep. It's in the back gap. The county's. Well, I know, but. It's, it's yeah, in the order. If you're questioning the wording, I mean. Prepositions do make a difference. It made it sound like the Mississippi Marine Resources they were taking. Uh, they make this order. That's why I ask. The wording is, is, is confusing. I got you, though. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, I think, but yeah, exactly. Is there any further discussion? Uh -huh. All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carries order authorized and directing the legal description of the boundaries of each voting district, District 1 through 5, including the 2022 Harrison County Redistricting Plan ordinance. And for related purposes. Motion. Second. Discussion. Second discussion. Is that changing any anybody voting from one precinct to another? <laughs> not in five. I believe so. It's not, it five. wouldn't be in three one. either because Trisha we didn't nine. move Trisha. the line. <laughs> there may be a few between two and four. It's going to change two and four. It's gonna change two and four Slightly. minimally. Yeah. But, but if three, one, Five will remain. Well, well, that's right. Okay. Thank you. Have they been notified? The county's been notified and they've got their precincts. To, uh, the well, county, county, this one. county is okay. aware the, the individuals, the individual voters cannot be notified with postcards until you adopt the ordinance. Okay. So the lines haven't been adopted to notify. I mean, if they kind of started to pick out who. Who is going to have to go to a different voting precinct? That's the well, they know that by the lines. The legal descriptions have been drawn, but the notifications have not gone out because we haven't adopted. Okay, thank you. There'll be a very small number, and if something were to happen, they would be allowed to vote by half the day. Is that correct? That's 
been through that for several times. <laughs> it's not, they don't, it's not happy people. No. <clears throat> Is there any further discussion? All in favor of the motion, say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Four to seven order authorizing the division of reconstruction. Order. Finding that the proposed voting district lines are set forth in the 2022 Harrison County Redistricting Plan shall serve as district lines for all five supervisors, five justice court, five election commissions, and five constable districts and for related purposes. Motion. Second. Discussion. All the favor the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries on authorizing the division and reconstruction of the current voting precinct. Mr. President, I do have a question. Maybe Tim can answer this. What about the school district lines? Uh, as far as the school board? They have, I, 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 did they, they do that? Yes, because there's these district lines involve the entire county. Right. The, the school mm -hmm. district lines will only involve the unincorporated areas. That's correct. The county, yes. So they have to set those. They, they set those. those. And they have. School, they, the school board sets them. Correct. The school board remains. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 47. 47. I don't think I quite was finished to fully implement the 2022 Harrison County Redistricting Plan for related purposes. Motion. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed. Motion carries. 48 order. Re re ordinance redistricting the five supervisors, five justice court, five election commission, and five constable voting districts of Harrison County, Mississippi, to comply with the population change of evidence by the 2022 federal census to provide new voting districts and election precincts to conform with new district voting lines and to provide for the election of the members of the board of supervisors, justice court judges, the election commissioners, and constables for the new voting districts and for related purposes. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> 49 order adopting Harrison County's 2022 redistricting ordinance and for related purposes. Motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Order denying the claims of MM, of MM, a minor for injuries alleged to have been sustained as a result of an arrest. Motion. Second. Motion. Second. Second. So the arrest does not involve Harrison County. Second. He was arrested by Gulf Court. The complaint is against Justice Court and the jail. We haven't figured out what the claim is for the jail. He, just that he was put in it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it really has to do with jurisdiction versus youth court versus felony. Okay. They were happy with them because the law firm was already involved in it. It shows the court had to deny the claim so we can know that. And he's a minor, which is why it's got his initials, obviously. Mm -hmm. is there it was a letter I think we sent. Is there any further discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? Motion carries 51 order approval renewal of contract for collection of 2021 delinquent personal property taxes between Whistler Law Firm and Harrison County. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. aye. All opposed? <coughs> Motion carries order approval of lease agreement with Mystic Power Company for real property consistent with approximately 0.173 acres located within the city of Biloxi, Mississippi to be used for parking at the Biloxi Justice Court and authorizing the board president to execute same. Motion. Second. 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 Discussion. Yeah, why don't we need this? It's the parking lot. Right? I know, but we just bought the one across the street. It's for, it's for the Justice Court. Well, no, we just spent almost a million dollars for the parking lot, so why are we still... Yes, yeah. yeah. Motion carries. Order approving the 
Open Doors the Homeless Coalition request for reimbursement in the amount of $485,533.41 in Washington 518 for the Emergency Rental Assistance Program to be paid from 069-686-700. Motion. Second. Discussion. All the favor of the motion say aye. Opposed. <coughs> motion carries. 54 order approving friends of court and service volunteer training to be held on October 24, 2022, from 5:30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Harrison County Advocacy Center, Gulfport. Motion. Second. Discussion. All the favor of the motion say aye. Uh -huh. I'll oppose. Motion carries order approve the installation of street lights as listed. Motion. Look. Second. Discussion. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. I'll oppose. Motion carries order adjudicating and authorizing expenditure as listed as necessary to advertise and bring to favorable notice the opportunities, possibilities, and resources in Harrison County, Mississippi, including the county logo being displayed along with link displayed to Harrison County online, Harrison County. Mississippi.gov in order to provide access to the public of the resources of Harrison County Appeal from 002 100 522. Motion. Second. Se Mr. President, may I add? There's that one separately. Uh, separately? Okay, but I have a um, Peter Roy Elder uh, for the Biloxi First Roast. That's a different one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's not you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's Advertising County Resources for Biloxi. It's a fundraiser that they have every year, the Chamber of Commerce. And, um, I thought she was in that one. But. No, I'm going to do that last. Um, sponsor, let's see, represents the 18th Annual Biloxi First Roast. And it is $1,000. Should I add that, Mr. President? Okay. Motion. 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 I got it. I got it. Second. Okay. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Aye. Can we have it, Dean? I do not. Supervisor Lanning? Nothing. Nothing. Supervisor Powell? Um, yeah, um, <laughs> less than a year ago, we approved um, putting up a sign at the County Farm Soccer Fields for um, Larry Benefield and his memory, and we approved it, but it's taken us this long to kind of get a quote and everything on the signs, and I'll share with you all later the beautiful rendering, but it's two beautiful signs, and uh, the, the price comes to 8000 I don't know if what y'all want to spend on that, but I can do it from my account. Um, <laughs> What, Tony? What'd you say? We don't have my accounts. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah, that is an excellent yeah. point. We should all remember the, that. We don't escrow. have my accounts. <laughs> the escrow account. Or 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 the general fund or the escrow account, whatever y'all think. I don't know why we don't amend the budget and put it in general. I should have mentioned that in budget hearings, you're right. We can amend the budget and include it in there. That's that's a county thing. Yeah. yeah. I second that. Motion to amend the budget to include. <coughs> are you sure that's what the cost of the sign? Yeah. The four thousand. Yeah. yeah. The four thousand each. Yeah. I have the quote and the beautiful pictures. I'll share it with you. I should have oh, sent we, it. We actually need two quotes. quotes. Two quotes. Okay. Because it's over. Yeah, and I had a, a different quote, but it was just the one sign I wasn't happy with. But. Yeah. yeah. All right. Give us the two quotes. Give us two quotes. Mm -hmm. So we can get the two quotes to amend the budget. Second it. That's all. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to do it. Um, I do. Uh, is Julia here? Julia? Would you please get uh, Each year we have the wreaths uh, for the National, Biloxi National Cemetery. And, um, Julia is here to tell us a little bit about that too. She gets in there. But while we're waiting um, for, I think this is the fourth meeting. No, never mind. I'll, I'll bring that up. I have one other item. <clears throat> Julia, you want to come up here and tell them about this uh, great program that we do once a year at Christmas for the race of the Biloxi? Uh, well, it's. I, um, 
It's a wonderful program. It's actually turned into a three-day event for everybody to sing on that, but uh, we have managed. We took a little part in helping Reese across America. They needed a little help out there at the National Cemetery. So it's a local organization that we have managed to cover every single grave out there at the Blessing National Cemetery. I, and I'm very proud of that. Um, if you've never had the opportunity to drive out there, it's always the first Saturday of December. Um, it's, um, we have close to maybe 2,000 people that come out there on the Saturday to come out and um, cover those graves. Um, and believe it or not, there's over 25,000 grave sites, and of course every day that, that grows, right? Mm -hmm. So to give you an exact number, you can't really do that. But um, with a, that many graves, and I tell you within an hour's time, with our community turnout, we cover all those graves just like that. And um, I would love to have y'all come out and take part in that. And it just gets bigger and bigger every year, and it's one of the biggest volunteer efforts down here on on the coast, and I'm very proud of that. So, um, yeah, that's what we do. It's a grassroots effort. I, I'd like to make a motion that we um, uh, help sponsor this program with $5,000. I'll second. Um, motion is motion second. Any further discussion? Advertising. It's advertising. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's on Dubix TV 13 News. It's on their Facebook page. It's um, I would they do a memorial walk. The Harrison County Board of Supervisors is on the their shirt. So um, yes, I'm very proud of it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, 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 all you do for our veterans. And have one other. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll oppose. So that was motion for an order on the DDK and authorize the expenses necessary to adjust the county resources. Yes, sir. Who said that was out? Who made the check to? Reese for BNC. Reese for BNC. I need to give her more energy. It's a little <laughs> and one other thing I wanted to mention is that we I have been asking the board, and I think the board asked for the fairgrounds to spread the contracts across the minutes. And I think there's been a report. Jennifer, Pam, would you? Jennifer. Jennifer, would you give us that report of the fairgrounds? Uh, yes, ma'am. I emailed oh. that last week to the board as well as to Tim and Trisha and Pam um, outlining um, what I saw when I reviewed the event files and the deposits. And in that memo, I um, also had some recommendations. Can you give those to us right now? Because somehow we're not getting those contracts spread across the minutes. Uh, and it's been two months now. Well, I mean, all you have to do is take them out of the file and Send them, I would think. One of the main recommendations is to modify the contract that is currently, um, well, the one that the board approved <coughs> that I can find that was spread on the minutes for 2015 is different than the one they are currently using. Um, so the first thing we need to do is make sure they're using the current. Uh, we need, correct. We need, correct. That, we need to pol uh, approve the policy that that's the issue. It's an old policy that exactly. we're operating on. Right? We're 2015. That's true. Um, but <laughs> I think we should also be consistent with how we're viewing yeah. our other rental facilities on a short-term basis. We require a facility deposit and we've clean deposit. Yeah, we well, have. I thought we settled on that. Uh, well, we didn't settle on it. We, we, we settled it, but apparently it was never approved. Yeah, uh, it needs to be approved. Well, I mean, that's probably approved it then. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and give us the terms and we'll approve it. Um, well, yeah, we did. Remind the board, because what happened last year was we, we tried in earnest to get a consistent audit across five districts. And if you remember, we had a, we had a big meeting with all baseball, football, and mm -hmm. everyone wants to do it different. But I mean, we agreed. I thought we settled on that. I don't think we're ever We didn't do a concession stand, I know we that. We well, we've tried to do a concession stand <laughs> for a while, that didn't work. No, no, it so, didn't. yes, it does need to be beside the agreements that that are being used. We, so, do the 2015 the agreement then, just 
Would you but, resend it to all of us or refresh our memories? Yes, on, on that, the, the, that one changed after the, it did Amendment 2 it, when we did the zones. It, it right. changes in the zones. Right. In June yeah, of 2020, the they all agreed on the zones. We did adopt the zones. Well, he's He's modified it slightly because he does have the zone pricing in there, but um, I'd like to do this a day when Greg can be here so we can yeah, actually discuss it and hear how. We, yeah, thank you, Beverly. Yeah, because he can we do that? that we can all make sure he's yeah. here next meeting. And just so you know, uh, that was kind of his idea on the zone, right? I, no, I, I remember. That was a good idea. Yeah, plus I wanted to get a report from him too, maybe you know, on the cruise and how we did on the. I don't know. Spots. I know we were full. So, yeah, I heard it was sold out. Well, I don't disagree with that. The board should have everybody here so you can discuss it. There is one issue that needs to be addressed, and that's turning in the money. That's what I was fixing to say. There is an issue that needs to be addressed. That money today. needs to be turned in the next the day, day. day. The, the next working day. In the, in the contract, no. the current contract does not specify clearly. Well, it does specify that the event fees can be paid after the event, but that's not consistent with any of the other policies. No, we need to change can, can you justify why we would wait till after an event to, to collect the money? As far as the event fees, no. But if a vendor mm -hmm. comes in, uh, not a vendor per se, but a an leasee event. comes in an and event. they rent the facility and they pay for the event mm -hmm. fee, if they also use stall rentals or RV sites, they won't have that exact number typically exactly. until the after the done. event. But there was a draft uh, contract that was done in, I believe, 2020, and it did specify in that contract that um, the leasee will give an estimate of how many stalls or RV sites yeah. they're going to use, and they'll pay half. And then at the last day, sort of like a deposit to make exactly. sure you get something. Exactly. Out. Well, it's on top of the deposit. They've already paid the deposit. Then they estimate how many they'll be using. Yes, um, and that's yeah. that's a better business approach. Um, yeah. So those are just. Uh, so then we need the twenty twenty. That one is to me. I think Same it's matters. a better yeah. contract, but I will make sure that y'all have a copy of that. It just that one has not been board yeah. approved. And a please, please include Greg in that, and so we all all yeah. on the same page in our first November meeting. Yeah. We'll get it figured and, out. Okay. And, and I don't think he can use a contract that hasn't been approved by the board. And we do. Can we just get well, those copies of the the year and a half that we have had and get them spread across the minutes? Whatever so contract's being used, she's right. It needs yeah. to be spread on the board. That's true. Minutes. So, who so how that far do you write that down? You how far are you writing it down right now in this day? <laughs> this, this past fiscal year? You have, have to prove it all the time, it seems. Since the last time, since he's done it. Yeah, since the last time. So that we can get caught up before somebody catches it. One, one question. Did, was there any outs? Did anybody owe any money? Not that I could tell. No. Oh, just making sure. Okay. So it was just a matter of putting them in. So the contracts. Have to match. So do you need a All the contracts to match the money. From from what I saw, yes. But when I sent that email out last week, I had also attached the contract that was approved by the board in 2015, the contract they're currently using, as well as the proposed contract that was drafted in 2020, so that y'all can see everything. But I also had a spreadsheet of the event files and then some of the. Um, inconsistencies that I noted. So you cannot use a contract that's not been approved by this board. I, I wouldn't <laughs> suggest that, no. Thank you. All right, I'm through. I'm finished. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Be quiet. I have here I'll second now. that. <laughs> Don't we have a... a yeah, I, I got a lot more than they got in No, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, I will request a second session to discuss a matter of litigation strategy. Is litigation is necessary involved in the Harris County Development Commission? <coughs> and the city government. Motion to go into the second session. Right, second. Sure. All in favor of that motion say aye. Aye. All opposed. Okay, Jim. So motion carries. Tell me on your through. Uh, in the course of the second session, the board discussed a matter of potential litigation involved in the city government and the Harris County Development Commission. No action was taken at the second session. 
So I'd like to make a motion to pass the resolution of the Harris County Development Commission dedicating Glasscock Road and Logan Pine Drive as public streets to be used and held by Harrison County, Mississippi for street road right away and all other legal and necessary public purposes. I second that. Second. Then discussion in the further discussion. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Would that go? Yeah, probably should be followed by a Yeah, so you get it to me, I'll get it to me. Does that need to be followed by any direction? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. The lane. No, uh, we, it, it's just since you have a legal in there. Yes, sir. There's a legal description. I mean, we've replaced it in the index again. For we'll do that. So we just want to make sure it's proper for with Tim. There's an exact legal description. The whole, the whole right. We'll need a certified copy of it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Did you do it wrong? I just did it. No. Yeah. They spell my name wrong. Is, is there anything further to not give a motion? Tim, I sent you more copies. I think I'm right. The legal description. Yes, sir. Thank you. Second. Yeah, all in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Aye.